The thing I want to talk about now is congruence. Congruence is something which is absolutely essential for anybody in business to have. Because um, basically congruence is that your words uh, match your body language. Like for instance, if uh, somebody asked you how you're feeling today, and you said, oh, I'm feeling really, really great, thanks. They wouldn't believe you, would they? Because it, it doesn't, it's not congruent. They don't fit. The two don't match. You feeling energetic and you standing like this do not match. And um, you'll notice this when you're talking to somebody, whether they're congruent, like whether their body language is congruent with what they're saying. And it's a huge thing because if you're in sales, for instance, right, this is especially important, especially important, because if you're in a sales job, a particularly a face-to-face -face sales job, then somebody will buy from you based on how you're feeling. So let's say you're having a fantastic day and you're having a wonderful day and you're selling a widget and your widget costs, let's say, $500, right, or $100 or whatever it costs, right? You'll sell more widgets if you're in a good state because if you're in a good state, then people will believe what you're saying and that will come across because we all have intuition and um, we say that you know something feels right or it doesn't feel right uh, or, or somebody made us feel uneasy like we feel comfortable around people who are congruent and you can seem incongruent if you're in a bad state and you're you're trying to espouse the benefits of a particular product right whereas if you're in a positive state and you're selling um, cow dung then you probably sell a lot of cow dung because you're in a positive state so people will relate you and your state to what you're selling because they assume that you will take on the, the quality of what you're selling they assume that if you're in a positive state it's because you believe in what you're selling and this is all happening at a very very deep psychological level but the point I'm trying to make here is that you just got to make sure that what you say and what you portray through your body language is congruent uh, because it will determine how people respond to you. So if you're a very confident person, a very charismatic person, you'll probably be fine with this. But if you're not very confident, then you may find that you are coming across as incongruent to people. And if you are in sales, then you, it doesn't mean you have to not be in sales, but you would probably need to work on this and work on your confidence so you could come across as being more congruent. Also, if you are in sales, you've got to make sure you're passionate about what you're selling because if you're passionate about it, that will come across and the product will practically sell itself because you're passionate and that will sell the product and then you'll find that you'll be making more sales. So um, if you're an online marketer or offline marketer or whatever you're doing, make sure that you are passionate about what you're selling because uh, if you pick something based on how much it's worth, then you won't necessarily sell a lot of it. But if you pick something based on how you feel about selling it, then you will make a lot more sales.